Yo, what's up guys, it's Mike. Today I'm gonna show you my regular stretching routine that I do after every single workout. Doesn't matter if I'm working on upper body that day, biceps that day, traps, abs, legs, cardio, it doesn't matter. I always do the stretching. It usually takes me anywhere from about 10 to about 15 minutes. What I do is I'll go ahead and show you one round of what I do and then afterwards, I usually repeat it about two or three times. Stretching can actually help you build bigger muscles. Number one, the reason why it does that is because it helps you develop more full range of motion. If you're starting to work out and you're thinking I'm pretty flexible right now, awesome. But guess what? As you start to get more results and your muscles start to get bigger and thicker, your muscles start to tighten up. And before you know it, if you don't stretch, one day you're gonna need to do something, you're gonna realize your flexibility just went to shit. It happens, trust me. When that happens, you're not able to do a full range of motion on everything because you don't even have the full range of motion yourself. So when you're doing your exercises, you won't be able to go all the way down, you won't be able to squat all the way down because your hamstring's gonna be too tight. There's a lot of things you're not gonna be able to go all the way down, so now you're limiting the amount of muscle growth you can do because you can't do full range of motions on all your exercises. If you can be more flexible and you can practice stretching a lot more, it would help you build more muscle because it will develop more full range of motions on all your exercises. Number two, another thing is it keeps you safe. If you're more flexible, it's a lot harder for you to injure yourself. For example, let's say you're doing a stiff leg deadlift. If your hamstrings are super tight, then when you do this, there's going to be a certain point where your hamstrings are going to feel like they're going to rip, right? And at that point, if you go down a little, a little lower, there you go, you pull your hamstring. If you're flexible and you can, let's say, go all the way down, or let's say you, know, you can touch the ground, you can do all this junk right there, then it's hard for you to go ahead and tear your hamstrings or pull your hamstrings because your hamstrings are flexible. Same thing with your shoulder. If you don't have shoulder flexibility, a lot of times you see guys, they come all the way down, that's cool, but if you don't have shoulder flexibility, you come down right here, suddenly you're straining your shoulders. So there's a lot of different exercises that involve you to be very flexible. If not, you're gonna get injured when you do them. So flexibility goes a long way, and I'm gonna show you a really basic routine without getting into crazy stretches, but these are stretches I've been doing for a long time, and they really, really help me stay limber throughout all these years. So this is what I always do. Okay, feet spread apart, and just come forward. Oh, man, it's tight right now. Funny thing is when you stretch, the first cycle that I go to, I'm gonna do a number of exercises. The first one I go to, it's always super tight for me. I mean, honestly, guys, I stretch every single day, and every day that I stretch on this first stretch, the first round, I feel like I don't stretch. You know, my muscles are so tight. But after round two, it's a little more limber, and by round three, I'm like gumby, you know, all over the place. And that's really what it takes, you know? So you gotta stretch at least to a few rounds of these basic exercises. Oh, it is tight, though. Oh. There you go, so this is a good stretch here. The one in the middle is good for your hamstrings. This one is for individual hamstrings. And then I go to the other side. Oh, Yeah, I can totally feel it right here, just stretching. So, uh, you don't wanna force yourself too much. You're gonna feel pretty super tight probably on this first round, so what I like to do is I kinda just Get into it, get my body into the into that motion. Now I'm going to a pigeon. So I put one leg in front, put the other leg in back, and I lean forward just like that. A pigeon is good for the side of your glutes right here. Don't know if you can see. The side of your glutes right here on the side, really good stretch. So I just lean forward like this. Yeah, this one feels really good. I usually hold my stretches for anywhere from about five to usually about 10 seconds or so. Then I switch it around, other side. So this next one, what I do afterwards, I go into a four fold. Basically, just put your feet together. Every time I do this stretch, I think of Bruce Lee, you know? You know, he stands up, he's like, whoa! <laughs> all the way down. Well, <laughs> so, on this one, what you do, what you usually try to do for, for this stretch, and also for the other stretch where you had your legs wide open, is your actual goal is not to try to put your head to the, to the ground, or to your knees, 
can hold. <laughs> you're not trying to do that. What you're actually trying to do is you're trying to put your stomach to your thighs. So this way, you're doing this. You're not doing uh, uh, Because when you try to do this, it actually strains your neck and it strains your spine. You know, and then later on you're like, man, I've been stretching and now my neck hurts. You know, so try to get your stomach to your legs. Just come down like that. So a lot of times you can still stretch, your head's still up, but you're still stretching right here. Oh. Next one I like to do, butterfly, real basic, feet together, try to get your heel close to your cr crotch. It's like you're trying to elbow your nuts. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> and then you know, flap like a little butterfly, you know, look gay for like five seconds. Four, five, okay. And after that, try to, <laughs> I wanna say try to, try to put your, <laughs> try to put your mouth to your toes. Ah. Nah, I actually, I try to put my head to my toes. You really try to do like the same thing, stomach to foot, I guess. I, I, I don't know, man. I think the only time I ever see people do that, they're like the crazy yogi, you know, yoga, hardcore people that can like kiss their own butt and do some crazy ass shit. Oh, I can't even do anything close to that, so I'm just gonna just lean forward. <laughs> lean forward as much as you can. Let's see, can I touch my, let's, let's see, I'm, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can touch my forehead to my toes. Let's give it a shot here. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, ooh, that was moist. After that, I go into a child's pose. I can do it this way. Oh. Stretches your lats. Then I go to the right side, stretching more of the left side right there, left side of your lat. Hold there for a few seconds. Oh, there it go. And then repeat on the right side. Then I'll go into a Cobra. Okay, so Cobra is really good. Oh, stretch for your lower back, stretch for your abs. I do this after abs. Put your hands on the ground. It's almost like you're coming up in a push-up, except you're put, leaving your feet on the ground. Nah, they may call this like an up dog or down dog, I don't know. Oh. Then I'll go back into child's pose here. Use it for a few seconds. I usually do a couple, couple reps of these. Forward. Oh. Stretch. Oh. Back down. Then, it's time for some upper body stretch. So what I do, first one, uh, hands behind the head. Stretch your hands for your, uh, your triceps. Just like that. And sometimes I like to kind of pull it this way. Pulling it this way, so this way I can also stretch my lats too. So when I grab my arm and I pull it downwards, it stretches your hamstrings. But then as I pull it this direction, also stretches my lats. Oh, ooh, it's tight. Now this side, same thing. Oh, yeah, this one feels really good. This next one, go one arm over the front. I usually have my arm right here, kind of around this back side of my arm like this. And I do two things. I go real high first, almost like I'm trying to choke my neck right here, like that. I feel it in my shoulder. And then I actually go a little lower where my chest is right here. And I do the same thing. Same thing on the right side. And then right here. Then for my lats, I need to like to grab something, so. You can pretty much grab whatever you like. Uh, you can grab onto anything. I'm just gonna use this right now because it's convenient. But you can really just grab onto anything. And I do two things here. First one I do is I put my head between my arms and I stretch back like this. And this is really good for your lats right here. And I usually just hold this for about 10 seconds or so. And just relax. Then what I do is I keep my head up and I just kind of pull. And it really stretches the same thing, just kind of feels slightly little different. And then a little tip I like to do is I like to lean. If you notice my hips, I'm gonna lean to my right side like this. 
and stretch my left lat right here. Right, it's all about like doing like a one arm stretch. You can actually do this, or I can just hold on to it, lean over, stretch this entire side. Like I feel the stretch all the way down to almost my love handles, almost my bleeds right here. And then, other side. Oh. Oh. So, uh, man, when you're stretching guys, just make sure that you don't overstretch because a lot of times if you stretch like me, you do it after your workout, your muscles are really pumped and a lot of times if you overstretch, you may end up pulling something. So make sure just to go ahead, take it easy. Once you feel the muscle stretching, just leave it right there. And if you do this every single day, your muscles eventually just become more elastic, more flexible, and you're not gonna have to try to like really kill yourself for it. You just go into the motion and automatically you're gonna feel more limber. Another one I do is I just put my arms over here Hands right here to the side. I just turn my body, stretching your chest right here. So again, I go into multiple levels. First one, I go high. Sometimes I would, if I want more of a deeper stretch in my chest, I get my whole forearm on the wall and then I turn. And again, if you can use like a pole or something like that, you can also do the same thing. So then next thing I do is I put my hands a little bit lower and I turn it this way and then I stretch again. This time, this is more for my shoulders and also for my biceps. Ugh, I do that, usually for about another five seconds or so, up to 10 seconds. Other side, oh, just let it turn. Let's get the form in, more chest. And then four. There you go, shoulders and biceps. <sighs> Last two things I do, one's for hamstrings. Let's go to this side here, huh? So what I do is one foot forward, one foot back, and I'm trying to stretch this back hamstring. I mean, not back hamstring, I'm back calf. So what I do is I stay real flat, and I just lean forward, and I try to get my, I try to get my knees, it's, I try to keep it straight, and I try to lean forward right there, so stretch your, ham, your calves. Now you can do this a couple different ways. If I was wearing shoes, you can also step on something, like you can step on a weight, you can step on a, a platform or anything, you can step on stairs, anything right there. Let's say I've had shoes on, you can do this, you can lean forward. That would also stretch your, your, uh, your calves. It's gonna hurt my foot a little bit stepping on this weight right here, but you guys can't get the point. So that's the only thing I really stretch for calves. One other thing I do is I stretch my hip flexors. So the way you do that, I do this, I go into a crescent lunge, and y'all might be thinking, well, why didn't he do that earlier when he was on the floor? Honestly, guys, this is just the motion I go into. <laughs> so I'm just showing y'all guys exactly what I do. So here you go. You get to a crescent lunge, basically what it is, let's say left foot forward, right foot on the ground, your knees on the ground. So from here, instead of leaning forward, what you do is you lean, you actually put your right knee further back as you can feel the stretch here, right here in your hip flexors. So once you feel a good stretch, you just lean your right knee back until you really feel a really good stretch. Put your hands up like this and lean back. Now, if this is your first time doing it or you feel pressure in your lower back, you can also rest one arm here on your supporting leg, other hand back like this. Oh, and you can feel this part right here, but especially right here in your hip flexors. So you hold this uh, for about five seconds or so. Oh, oh yeah, I can feel that one. All right, then switch. Right foot forward, left knee in the back. Get into position. If you don't feel this stretching yet, move it back. There you go. All right, now that you got that tension right there, hands up and back. Oh, there you go. Oh, I forgot. I'll give you two bonus ones. This is really good for your back. Lower back. First one, it's a spinal twist. <sighs> Lay on the ground, hands out like this. Turn one leg over this way so you can twist your spine. Then, if your leg, if your leg is going this direction, you're gonna look the opposite direction. So you're gonna look this way there and do your best slowly 
to try to get your left knee to the mat or to the floor. Okay, do not try to go really hard. You know, you're not trying to crack your back or, you know, hurt yourself. You just want to kind of do your best to just softly go down. You'll feel the pressure here on your spine. So, just real nice and easy this way. Hold it there for about five to 10 seconds. And then switch. Oh, yeah. A lot of times what I do is I kind of use this arm to kind of hold it down a little bit and then turn this way. And from this position, you can also go into, uh, I forgot the name of this one, but you basically hold your toe, do the same thing, stretches also your hamstrings. But uh, I need you to just stay right here. Oh. And this last one, <laughs> this last one, what you do is you lift your legs up, get your high knee up in the air, show the world. <laughs> it's pretty much what it looks like. So, oh, put your, so get your uh, hands up. Well, so you, what you wanna do is you wanna lift your legs up, get your hands right under your back so you can hold it up from rolling back. So, right there, boom, put it right there, hold it. It's actually kinda tough to breathe when you're down here, but what you first wanna do is you wanna get your feet to try and touch the floor over here. Oh, there you go. So from there, you can hold on to your back, you can try to hold on to your feet. And if this is your first time doing this, you're probably not gonna be able to breathe really well, so just take your time. But this is a really killer stretch for your lower back, your spine. Looks like you're, <laughs> it's an awkward position. It's like, hey guys. <laughs> so, oh, but that is actually a really good stretch for your lower back. So. There you go. Those are the stretches I do every single day. And that would be what I consider as my round one. So I usually do about five seconds of each move. And then, see right now I'm feeling a lot limber. So usually I will go ahead and go back into the one where I have my legs apart and I go forward and I'll repeat the whole thing again. Usually one more time, sometimes up to two times with a total of doing about three rounds. It should take anywhere from about 15 minutes, give or take. And I know what you mean, you know, I know what you're thinking, man, you must be tired after you work out, tired after you do abs. I know I feel it every single day, but if you stretch, remember, you'll be more flexible, you don't get injured, and that full range of motion will help you build more muscle. So, hope the video helps you out. Don't forget, worst case scenario, if you're not stretching right now, at least do one round, okay? Just hold everything for five seconds. Just make it a habit. Stretch for five minutes if you want to. Do something because it's gonna help you in the long run, keep you injury free. More workouts and nutrition tips, check out sixpackshortcuts.com. See y'all guys next time. Later.